What's up guys, it is Ben H here with another video. In this video, we are going to be doing a beginner's guide to how to use Quizlet. So, a lot of teachers are using this um, just for students can study for like a test or just for studying and stuff. It's kind of like, you know how we'd make note cards for school. So like, this is a online digital note card thing that you can use it it's there is a free version but there is also a pro version that you can purchase but i have had the free version so i'm just going to show you the basic features and then in my next video i will show you guys how to create a flash card okay so i'm just going to go over a few of the key like features and how things work and then in my next video i will show you guys how to create a digital flash card so keep that in mind so what you're going to want to do is go to the login button. If you are new, you will click on this this sign up button here. And then you are allowed to sign up with Google. You can sign up just with your email. So, but I'm going to log in. But before we actually start the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and like the video. All right. Without further ado. And I'm going to be yawning in this video, so I do apologize. Um, but it's early, and I'm creating, creating this early because I have plans today. But anyways, let's get into it. So if you click on this login button, now you can log in with Google, Facebook, Apple, or just have your email or password. So I'm going to log in with Google, and I'll catch back to you guys when I'm in. All right, guys, so I have never used Quizlet. So if you do log in with Google, the, it's going to ask you to enter in your birthday. So you'll just click like a random birthday. Oops. And then you like pick a day, pick a year. All right. And then this is where you can select if I'm a teacher or not. I'm going to say yes. Okay. I'm going to click on sign up. Now, this is where you can choose if you want to upgrade to quizlet plus for teachers so it also gives you a free trial for you could try for 30 days okay and then it's two dollars a month or 36 dollars per year and then if you scroll down you can see like what you get with it so like bring ai into the classroom you get magic notes q a your at tutor Essay starter, brain beats, watch student progress. You can track which students are doing their studying session. You can prioritize, sorry, that's my phone. You can mobilize, you can customize your teacher tools. So there is a lot of different things that you can do within this area. Uh, but I am just going to be showing you to the free part. So if you're not doing this and it asks you, just click on the continue to free Quizlet unless you want to start a free trial or, or buy it. So click on continue to free Quizlet. So now it's going to ask, welcome, get started with the class. So this is where you can enter in any class name that you would like. So let's change this to YouTube. Or example, YouTube Quizlet, if I could spell. All right, so now this is where you can enter in a description. This is optional. You do not have to. Now you have two options that you can choose if you want to select or not. Now if you unselect these, you can. It's to your preference. So the first one says, allow class members to add and remove sets. I don't let, if my students did this, I would not let them do that because then it could just mess things up. So I don't allow that. Okay, the next thing is allow class members to invite new members. I don't let that either. But if you do want that, you can check that as well. Now, the next thing you're going to do is enter in your school name. So let's just say YouTube, YouTube school. Now, if none of these pop up, you have to click on the add your own button. So now this is going to make you enter a city name. So we'll just say city one, two, three. Or actually just city. I don't think it will let me do numbers. City, and then we'll select just a random state. Let's say Florida and click on create. 
all right? So now it's going to bring you right into your class, okay? And you can see this, like, Quizlet Plus thing is already on here, too, saying, try it free for 30 days. We want you to get this. Just click not now unless you want to. All right. So now this is where you can add a study set. But I, as I said in my next video, I'm going to show you how to add a study set. But if you do click add a study set, this is where you can create a set and then see any of your sets that you have here. But we are not going to dive deep in adding a study set because that is going to be our next video. Now, if you want to invite people, you have two different options. You can go to the members button here. Okay. And copy the link in like Paces in like Google Classroom or PowerSchool if you would like them to join via a link. All right, so that is the way that they can join. It's pretty simple. They just need a Google account or an email and password. It's freezing in here. In order to join their join the quiz. All right. Next to that, we have progress. And something I want to mention with that is you can see I clicked on that. It's bringing me back to this quiz of plus. That is because there is this little gray lock thing here. That means that the feature that you are trying to reach can only be accessed if you are on Quizlet Plus. And there are going to be many of these things around here because you're using the free version. So keep that in mind. All right. Up top here, this is where you can click this button to add sets or create a set. Here is where you can add members. So you can also add members by just entering a username or an email address. Or you can invite using Google Classroom as well as using the invite link, which is pretty nice. Next to that, this is where you can add folders. So like if you did like intermediate algebra, English nine. So like if you wanted to like sort your study cards into folders, this is where you would do that. And then you can also click on these three dots to edit the class, to turn, to do notifications, Okay, this is going to bring us into study into the settings, but we're going to talk about that in a little bit. So do not worry about that. All right. And then we have the report button, and then you can also delete or remove all members. So like if you're at like the end of your school year and you're like, okay, I want to use Quizlet again for this exact same class. I just don't want these same members. Just click remove all members. And then you'll see, yes, remove all members. And that it's that simple. All right. So I'm just going to click not now on this. All right. So now this is how you do the cl class. If you click on this Quizlet button, this is going to bring you to, let's say, your sets or your homepage. Okay. So this is where AI, you can paste your notes. Basically means that AI can generate you flashcards, which is pretty cool. And I'll talk more about this in the next video as well. All right. So like flashcards, simple essay questions, Q chat on magic notes. All right. But some of this stuff does require you to have the plus. Um, you need you to pay for a quizlet plus in order to use it. And this is going to be up on everything. So just keep that in mind. It's not a watermark. You can get rid of it. But when you try to go somewhere, it will come back unless you don't, unless you click not now. And then you can also upload the file from like your desktop or your computer or from Google Drive. So that is also an option. If you scroll down, this is where it's going to give you these like little widgets to see what you want to do. So like generate flashcards, meet QH at your AI tutor, or generate a quick summary. And then you'll see your classes, example, YouTube Quizlet, YouTube School, City, Florida. So it shows you how many study sets you have in that class. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So it shows you how many things you have in that specific class. Okay. And then it also shows how many members are in your class as well. And then your address in the city in Florida. So pretty cool. 
Under that, we have the popular flashcard set. So this is made by other people. And then there's popular textbooks that there are here. And then you can create a class to share sets, popular questions, top creators, and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. If you click on our library, this is where you can see your classes from a view, all your study sets, all your magic notes, all your folders, and your expert solutions. Now, if you do click on this plus here, this is where it, you can do magic notes. You can add a class, a study set, or a folder right there as well. If you click on your little profile here, it's going to bring you up with your name. This is going to be blocked out. There's going to be a few things blocked out in this video just because of privacy. All right. So if you do go into here, you see there's three things to begin with. There's art, there's achievements, there's settings, and there's dark mode. So if you click on achievements, this is going to show you any achievements or badges that you have won on Quizlet. As you can see, I have not won anything yet, but these are all the badges that you could win. And streaks, and weekly streaks, and set study, and stuff like that. So you will earn stuff throughout the time you use Quizlet, which I think is pretty cool. Next, we have settings. So settings, the, the first thing on here, of course, is the Quizlet Plus, so you can upgrade now uh, here as well. Now, here's where you can enter in personal information. Now, this is going to be blocked off for privacy, okay? But this is where you can change your account picture to be anything that you would like it to be, all right? You can change your username, your email, your account type to be student or teacher. So this is mostly used for a teacher or student, uh, but you can use this for personal use if you would like to. Next, under that, we can choose if we want to edit our school information, change the theme to be light or dark or auto. You can also choose our language. So right now it is in English, but you can choose to have it in a different, different language if you'd like. You can have notifications remind you for like study reminders, classes, email updates, all it's all a preference so you can choose whatever is more comfortable for you account privacy this is where you can create a quizlet password connect your facebook account i don't know why i would want your facebook account but if if you guys know and my comments are enabled please let me know and then you can also choose privacy and lastly you can delete your account for good so this will delete all of your data your google account and everything not delete your Google account, but it will delete your Google account off Quizlet. So you would have to create a new account. All right. And then study tools is where you can upload notes, teach me your AI tutor, homework help, and then essay start. So I hope this video did help you guys knowing kind of like how to use Quizlet. In my next video, of course, which I've said three times, is going to be about how to create a study set. It's, trust me, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, but let me know if you guys have any questions. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, and turn on post notifications so you are notified when I do upload a new video. And without further ado, it's been me, Ben H, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.